What's up, YouTube? <laughs> it's a real cold burnout. Thanks for joining me back at my channel, and yeah, you're down here in my snake pit. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're gonna get out of the snake pit. I got some uh, range footage to show you. I'll weave that in probably at the end of the vid. All right, so took a rifle out to the range. Let me do a flyby. See if you can. Let's see who guesses what this is first. Some people are already saying, ah, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Look at that. <laughs> All right, if you guessed the Daisy 880, yeah, you're right. More accurately, 880S does come with a scope. We'll talk about that here in a sec. This is just a really cool entry level uh, pellet gun. It, it is dual ammo, so it uses BBs and pellet. One caveat to that, I'll get to that here in a sec. But price wise, check Walmart. Uh, they go for about 39 bucks. Yeah, you can catch them on sale maybe sometimes. And uh, when I look on Amazon, they seem to be around 50. So check Walmart first. That's just what I've seen. Pump action. So you want to pump it up about six times according to the instructions. 800 feet per second. Uh, the max yardage on it is 291. It does have a rifled barrel, so it is pretty good on accuracy. All right, scope is uh, Daisy 4x15. Does have the windage and elevation. All right, it does take some adjusting to get it zeroed in. I haven't got it perfectly zeroed in yet. It's, it's a little off. Uh, let's see. I did have to loosen up those scope rings as well. I'll maybe do a little pop up of me messing with it there and uh, get it leveled you know I just eyeballed it using the reticle on the inside standard reticle and uh, but pretty decent does have fixed sights you, you can use as well these are pretty accurate it does have elevation just adjustment on the uh, rear blade there Monte Carlo style stock plastic but it is a nice design plastic receiver and of course the barrels metal I wish the bolt lever right there I wish it was metal because you can see it has some flex to it hasn't broken me yet and I've been messing around with this for a little bit uh, not not heavy usage but off and on it does have a, a safety right here cross bolt style safety I get that to, uh, you gotta actually so cross bolt safety and there you go kids if you see red you did. That's just a way to remember it. Red is, is not safe. You're ready to fire. So, all right, now, before I roll on that footage, here's the caveat on the um, pellet. It only can You can only load one pellet at a time. So that's kind of a bummer, but like I said, entry level, kind of a initiation into the pellet world, maybe. Maybe just go straight to pellets. I don't know. But you load it right directly into the chamber right there. You just got to roll it in, make sure it's oriented correctly, and then you close your bolt. Now, BBs load right there. So you just have the little, little hatch, pull it down, 50 BBs it'll hold. And uh, like I said, pumped up six times. The correct, it is stamped on the side here with the actual instructions, so uh, the, the method they want you to load it is to, what's it say, open the bolt, and put it on safe then pump it so about six times you can do it uh, a few pumps less if you don't if you're in the backyard you're not shooting a great distance and then load close the bolt aim take off safe and fire wear your safety glasses too you know don't want to shoot your eye out there I said it I was just out there having fun uh, shooting these shatter blast from Daisy these things are fun they're just like Here's the biggest piece left. There's little discs like this, they shatter. Uh, Non-toxic. You can get little different little holders for them. Uh, I was shooting about 30 feet, so uh, I was trying to zero in my rifle. It was starting to rain, and I did hit, uh, <laughs> I was shooting a little bit to the right on that. But, overall fun, uh, pretty cheap, go check it out. There it is. Ah. Let's roll, I almost forgot the range footage. Let's roll that range footage.
Boom.